Welcome everyone to Bonafab Custom. Today I'm going to be trying out this Evaporust. It's a product review I'm going to do. And the reason I got this was because I'm doing a lot of restoration of uh, oddball parts, some old antiques, and I want to find an easier way to take the rust off. And, you know, searching on the internet, this uh, product came up, so I thought I'd share my um, my review or share my findings on testing out this product. Let's get right into it. So I have this really rusty old plane and I want to restore it. And you can see it, the rust is flaking off. So I'm going to put this in and I'm going to put it in halfway just to see the difference of um, before and after. And I'm going to leave this in here um, overnight. So I'm just going to put this in. And I'm just going to leave it just like that and uh, leave it for about, say, 10, 15 hours and see what happens. Okay, so it's the next day. It's been in there about just over 12 hours. And take a look at what it looks like. I mean, through the liquid, it looks like, I don't know, it's a little cleaner, but uh, let's take it out and take a closer look. off there now just by looking at it, it well it does look like there's nothing on it wow but you can see how uh, cleaned up it is here I mean it's like even with the the rust on it, when I felt it, it was it was a lot um, coarse, coarser on the surface. But now it actually feels like like a little slimy. But I can kind of I want to take this apart and then take a look at it. But you could see the difference right here from the the part that was inside the evapor rust and the part that isn't, that's a big difference there. Okay, let me just wipe it down and see. Okay, let's just see if I can take this apart somewhat. Okay, that's good. And really on the instructions it said to uh, Kind of take off all the debris on there but I wanted to see what it was like if I just threw it in there it kind of went in there a little bit but it did clean up the outside of that that was rusty It actually cleaned up the uh, brass part too a little bit, which is surprising. Out. 
That's pretty clean. And you can see what it was before. It was like a scaly rust, like really bad rust on there. It would have took me a little bit to blast that. This took zero time at all. I just, I mean, I just put it in there and left it overnight. It's not like I had to watch it or use electricity to uh, run a compressor to blast it. It, uh, it's pretty good. I'll take it apart a little bit more and clean it and we'll take a look at it a little closer. Okay, so now I have the parts cleaned up. I took a rag, just cleaned, cleaned them off. And you probably noticed, you know, when I put this in there, I, I did no prep. I wanted, to, I wanted to give you an idea of if I took it and, you know, it was all together, threw it in there, what the results are, okay? The simplest way as, as possible. So that means that if we had, I did take it apart and cleaned off, say, brushed off the main rust and stuff like that, and if I've taken it apart and done it properly by taking off the rust, I would have had a better result, um, not a worse result. So this would be basically the worst result I can get, which it actually came out really nice. Uh, if you look closely at where the evaporust was and where it wasn't, you can also feel like it's a lot smoother. Now, under close inspection, you can see the little divots of probably where the rust ate into the plane, uh, but it didn't affect the shape. So usually I would take this and say, put it in my sandblaster or bead blaster or say chemical strip it. Now that would cause probably to change that finish on there. With the evapor rust, I found that it doesn't change anything. It just eats away or targets that rust, which I'm very impressed by. Now, again, I didn't take it apart so you can see where the plane was connected or the blade, it still was rusted inside because the evapor rust didn't get to that point. So again, if I had taken it apart, I would have had a better result. On the brass parts and stuff like that, it did clean up a little bit, but again, didn't affect the paint. So safe on uh, that stuff, painted surfaces, uh, threaded holes, things like that, seemed like it worked out really well. You can see even the Stanley on there, I didn't even know it was orange, to tell you the truth. Or the actual base of it, I didn't know it was black, but it actually took, cleaned off all that uh, I guess there was debris, rust debris on there, and it ate away. So another thing too that I found, or that it that it says it's you know it's safe. I, I didn't have to put gloves on. It's uh, water soluble, so I could wash it off after I I clean it up. So overall, pretty good. I am uh, pretty impressed with it. Now I just did one thing on it. Um, I would like to do another review after I've been using it long term to see, you know, the effects of it, how long it lasts. You know, this, the, the chemical itself uh, isn't that cheap, but it does save time because you don't actually have to do anything to take the rust off. You just leave it in there overnight. So in that regard, it is cheaper. So the thing I noticed with it is it does have... A smell to it. Um, now it says that there's no fumes, which fumes and smell is two different things. Um, but I'm just going to open it up here. Maybe. And it does have a smell to it. Steve, come in. I don't know if it's me or... There is a weird smell to it, for sure. I wouldn't smell it right in there, but... You smell it? It is a weird smell. It's, it's not a bad... It's, it's yeah. I don't think it's... Uh, and, and they say there's no VOCs or anything, so the, there's no vapors or bad... It's kind of like you smell, Steve, you know, so I kind of like that, right? It's not bad for you, but it does have a distinct smell. But uh, that's basically the only thing I really 
um, noticed about it is that smell. And maybe some people like that smell. I, I don't know. But there is a distinct smell to it. But overall, I think it works. Now, again, I want to do a video after a month of using it. I am going to be doing a lot of restoration and uh, taking rust off of different things. So I will get back to you on how it works long term. But in short term wise, it works really well. Thanks for watching. Don't, first, don't forget to subscribe and push that button for more notifications for reviews and fabrication um, and other sorts of videos. Thanks.